Let's talk about evaluating limits algebraically when continuity doesn't work. Here's an example. How would we evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 8x minus 20 over x minus 2? Now, you can see the problem. As x approaches 2, this denominator is going to 0. So division by 0 is the problem here. Um, but remember, when you're calculating limits, you're answering the question, what happens as we get close to 2, not what happens at 2? So let's take a look at this rational function. It turns out that I can factor the numerator, right? Now remember, you're writing a limit statement. So uh, this limit statement has to equal another limit statement. And you have to continue writing this limit expression until you evaluate the limit. So right now, I'm just doing a little algebra inside. This numerator can be written as a product of two linear functions, right? And they're both going to start with x. We'll have x plus or minus something, x plus or minus something. I need you to look at the factors of 20, factors of negative 20 that are going to give me a sum of 8. And I'm thinking about 10 and 2. If I use plus 10 and minus 2, I'll get my negative 20. And I'll get 10x minus 2x, which is plus 8. That works. And now what you see here is I've got two factors of x minus 2. Now, ordinarily, you want to be careful about just canceling these things out, right? You want to think about what you're doing here. But remember, we can cancel these two when evaluating the limit because we don't care what happens at x equals 2. We care what happens at near x equals 2. So near x equals 2, these two guys are always going to be the same value, and so we can cancel them. And that gives us the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 10. And that limit, we can evaluate using continuity. right? You can just plug in 2. And you get 2 plus 10, 12. So generally, when you're evaluating limits without continuity, you're going to have some kind of problem like division by 0. You just have to look for ways to use algebra to eliminate that problem and then evaluate the limit. Now let's take a look at what the, uh, the graph of this function. What does that limit equaling 12 represent? Remember. This function is not defined at 2, but it has a limit as x approaches 2 of 12. This function's graph is basically a line with a hole in it at x equals 2. And you could rewrite this function as y equals x plus 10 for x not equal 2.